and they used to actually have it in public school, motocross class. They did it back in the day in California in high but school. we are off with college class, 1824. Class is in session, Professor Rita Coombs presiding. The Professor Gary Bailey out there. A class of 42 right now in this big auditorium. Everybody writing down, doing their homework all year long. This is their final exam. This is the final this exam, right? Well, they actually, uh, it's weighted. It's the, um, it affects their GPA. It's a three part final exam. Three this motos. This is one of the periods that, because we still got three motos. Right, yeah, yeah. It's a third of your final overall yes, grade right here. It three is. motos. Three Brandon tests. Glenn out of Forney, Texas, on the number 15 Honda, grabs the whole shot here in this college boy or college girl. Let's not be, uh, Sexist here, you misogynistic. Oh, that was me. It's all you, Jimmy. Gentleman Jim, as Wes Kane used to call you back in the day. Gentleman Jim. He said, "Just Jim." Just you would say that too. Just Jim and Gentleman yep. Jim. I don't think ever Gentleman Jim. It was. Okay, I, all right. I'm gonna go with it. You were racing. Gentleman How Jim. would you even know that? We I said hear it. everything. Uh, yeah. So the kid that heard me say something about him and Wes beat him up in the tower in Texas. Good battle back here in the Rocky Mountain ATV sweeper there. There's the number 19 on the Honda working his way around, trying to bring that uh, D up to a C so he can hold on to that uh, scholarship that he's got there. Got to maintain that uh, 2.5 GPA. That's all they ask of you guys. That's really not that hard. A 2.5 GPA in this college boy class, it just requires a little bit of work. He's got all the potential, all the tools. He just does not apply himself. You ever heard that? Meets, exceeds, you're getting those meets. I want to exceed one time. Problem is right. about the young riders in this class. They put on that freshman 15. Yeah, They're exactly. not in shape because they have not been working hard. They got yep. that freshman 15 carrying around. That's what happens. And once they start their second, third year, they start taking care they of themselves. Kind of figure out the process. Figure it out. Works. It's a big jump, a learning curve a from high jump. school to college motocross. <laughs> you know the difference. I remember I was able to avoid that freshman 15 because they put $800 a semester on the food card. And they said, whatever money you don't use, you Wait will get back okay. at the end of the semester as a check. So it was ramen noodles for days and water, right? Uh, absolutely. And chips and I used sauce to eat, at the Mexican restaurant. Mayonnaise sandwiches. Mayonnaise and sandwiches. You didn't have to. You actually had $800. I had $800. In but food. at the end of the year, I was getting $240 back. I only, he made <laughs> money at college. I made money. He came out with money yeah. in the bank. People and are in debt. He's the $800. Paid. My parents put up the $800 as room and board. I kept $240. So I could have easily been healthy and just asked my parents for money. But no, I had to use this whole system. But in the end, between ramen noodles and mayonnaise sandwiches, $240. And nothing has changed. He just ate a mayonnaise sandwich earlier on the way yes, up here. Yes, I did. I asked Jessica, are there some condiments left? It's just pouring the salt those. in his mouth. Yes, Can I have all that yeah. pepper? He's going to have mustard for lunch. Jason Wagon leaving college with 150 grand in the bank. <laughs> he actually <laughs> yeah, made money. He starts his own business on the side. <laughs> All right, Bobby your leader, Regan. Jonah yep. Smith, out front, the 39, Kawasaki Rider, one lap in, Tanner Basso, second, Renta Menudo is third, Brandon Glenn is fourth, Felix Lopez, fifth, Sebastian Lave is sixth, Scott Meshi, seventh, Carter Gordon, eighth, Tyler Rosa, ninth, and Dustin Turner rounds out your top ten as we kind of sort these things out here. Everybody fight for that GPA, man, that last push, trying to bring that average up here. You know how you did it, like you had all these assignments that were due and you were up. These guys have been up all night doing homework. And they're cramming. super tired. Yo, they're cramming for the cramming. final. Oh, they went man, down the road to, to train and practice. You can't do that. It's, if you haven't done the work, you're just going to have to go with what you got in your head. Yeah, it's been proven. They don't actually learn that way. You have it for five minutes and you forget all about it as soon as the exam's over. It's not lifelong learning. Maybe change this to one of those academies that doesn't have grades. I mean, that would be wrong. That would be harsh to grade people. You know, it's just... Hey, you're just doing bad. your thing. You're just, you just get a show doing or show good. Up. Just like, doing your oh, thing. It's good. good yeah. Job. This is the college boy. That's where all the college references are coming from. If you're trying to follow along at home. Jonah Smith out front. Got a third in moto number one. Now out leading this one around. It's on the 39 machine on the Cowie. So Jonah Smith right now sitting well. When you get third in that first moto, and if you can come out swinging and get up to that first place spot, that is huge going into Moto3 because all you have to do, that means you can control your own destiny. If you're either a third in the first moto or the second moto and you can cap off a win, all you got to do is going in the final moto, all you have to do is win. And that's what you're really looking for as a racer. You want to go into that last moto and not have to worry about somebody else making a mistake. You being able to go out there and just win it hands down. Rider to watch is going to be the 71 of Felix Lopez because he won the first moto, but he's third right now. So he and Jonah Smith could be tied. Maybe Lopez gets an advantage if he can come out and move up, but his lap time not as quick as either Basso in second 
or Jonah Smith in the lead. Oh, some mistakes back here. That's allowing uh, Basso, I think, to catch Smith. And there's a 71 of Lopez. So we got a battle for the lead on our hands. Jonah Smith feeling the heat from Tanner Basso. That's a legit lap time, too, for a second lap. Two minutes flat there. Flirting with a, a sub two minute lap time in this college boy class. The track is so rough, so rough. They've just kind of rolled in the bumps now. They're not really doing much in the way of grading things out now. They're going to let it go. Put the water down, do a little fixing here and there. So Felix Lopez up to the number three spot. Felix is out of Mexico, putting it on for south of the border down there. Going to college in Mexico City, University of Mexico. Those credits do transfer. Yep. That's a great thing they about working with Mexico over. and United States schools. He's up here and he's putting on for Mexico in this college 18 to 24, up in third place. Going for a degree in marine biology is what his bio says. That's pretty cool. Sports marketing for Tanner Basso and uh, business management now for uh, Brandon Glenn. So says the uh, sponsor sheep and the bio on these kids. That's cool. A classic business manager. One, who is this Brandon Glenn? He's got a philosophy degree is what he's interested in. Not going to pay the bills, Brandon. No, I know. Not you're gonna just going to go big student debt. What not going to be able to get a job out of that. And then you start blaming the government. Right. Blaming other people. You know, take responsibility for yourself. Get a degree that you can apply. Go into the IT field. It's going to be a serious need for that. The uh, nursing yeah, field is never going to have a shortage of people getting sick. You just got to think of those yeah. high track, high growth fields. We've got a battle here. Meshi, Menudo, Glenn, Gordon, all over each other. Going back about fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh place. Right now I'm watching the 81. The 81. Man, two good battles. That is six or seven guys yeah, right there in the guys. 10 commandments. That is the number 41 of Renton Menudo, who is currently rushing Kai Fi as well. So he's got a lot of things on his mind here. So Renton, need to really need to focus on your degree, the final exam. Everything coming to fruition for you. We're gonna we got graduation this weekend. The walk parents are all here this Saturday. It's gonna be a great uh, ceremony. Get there early. The gymnasium always fills up. Yeah, sometimes only one relative's allowed in. Grandparents yep. gonna have to stay outside. I have closed circuit TV just so you can watch it from the uh, mezzanine there. Tanner Basso has taken the lead from Jonah Smith and Felix Lopez Whoa. is coming. Felix Lopez taking a big hit. Those are your leaders right here. Look at this battle. Top three in the same corner. Felix Lopez wants to get around. Jonah Smith. And Basso says, you guys slug it all out. I'm just going to cruise on down the road here. Basso. Ooh, tucking that triple there. Basso up in the lead. I love it. Just going, going out there, trying to get out front and take home this NCAA championship in our Holy college credit. class. Came out of, he is a JUCO transfer. Everybody really liked what he had going on. Had two good solid years down there in Selma, Alabama. He did. Georgia he State he suffered up. a lot of injuries going through the amateur ranks. So he decided, I'm going to college. I'm going to become a doctor. I'm going to perform my own surgery and save a ton of money. I'm set, into this. And set save a own. ton of money on my health insurance. Kind of like Geico, but not really. It's the opposite medical field. There's YouTube videos for everything. You can just you snap that famer, traction, boom, you're boom. good there. You can make your own little splint. As long as you got a good radial pulse down there on the foot, no... Uh, Vascular damage is done. You're good, man. There's no need to pay all this money for these doctors. So Tanner Basso, if you get hurt this weekend, visit the Basso Pit and the out. Basso Medical Center located down by the creek. <laughs> and he will get you set up with Basso. a quick surgery appointment within the next couple days. Who knows? You may not even miss a moto. Dr. Tanner Basso. We'll call him the doctor. The Dr. Tanner Basso. <laughs> DB. He's pulled away just a bit. Lopez and Smith continue to duke it out there, second and third. They are all over each other. Now, you know how this class works. They basically divide the riders into two groups, jocks and nerds. Yep. Poor We're nerds usually getting picked down by the jocks. Yeah. Beat it, geek. Weeb. Nerd. Nerd. Yeah, we actually transport. I'm a firefighter back home, and uh, we actually transport guys to Tanner Medical Center. So I wonder uh, if Tanner Basso has something to do with Look that. Look at this battle for second, man. Felix Lopez and Jonah Smith. Really fighting hard side by side. Lopez caught him, and it has been a lap and a half of Smith fighting him off and just dipping out. It's Tanner Basso. We got a little bit of a lead built up. Just don't want a no show for class. Oh. So you got to read the syllabus. Sometimes yeah. the professor's school. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just be there for the final, which he is. He's top three. Jonah Smith and Felix Lopez, both on those Cowies, which is no surprise with their law group, <laughs> Smith and Lopez. Logan. Attorneys at law trying to fight, fight this case against Tanner Basso and his Yamaha, <laughs> and that 
botched surgery that he had done. That so the boys, surgery. the Cali boys, take him to court. Oh, man, Felix Lopez paddling his way uh, through that one. He says, I have an objection. I will not go down in this corner. I'm going to chase down Basso uh, he did. for that botched surgery he had had done to me earlier on this week. Yeah, that malpractice. That'll get you. He's got malpractice insurance, but if it's gross negligence, these guys are going to find a hole in his program, oh, no doubt. Terrible. I mean, if you're doing the surgery with a flashlight in your mouth at 1 in the morning in the back of a trailer, something's going wrong there. Yeah, call the hurt line. Lopez and Smith. They'll take Strong care of you. Law, Lopez and Smith. Injured? <laughs> oh, yeah. Lopez and Smith. <laughs> Are you upset with your bad settlement? Has your wife taken all your money? Have you been cheated on? Call Wes Kane. Wow, so they're, they're in the law school <laughs> business. So we've got the doctor against the lawyer here. Not a professional class, but they're, they are in the professional field. Yeah. They do represent Rides Unlimited up there, actually. Oh, no doubt. You know, they have all those... All those cases, those false claims that people just stepping in front of the semi trying to get run over. <laughs> hey, there's Greg. They've been waiting. Like, they push their wife. Boom. You kick her in the butt, and she falls right in front of Greg's uh, Throwing babies UTV. underneath the freaking wheels. Goes, Come of on. Rigs. I saw you waiting on me. <laughs> Man. Come on. The richest team in motocross. I'm, a little, I'm rich for a reason. I'm, I'm, I'm on. I don't get sued. West Kane tripping and falling right in front of Greg. He's trying to get run over by Greg walking on. Just walking. Not even a vehicle. Yes, just walking. Wes, he, you're not going to get hurt. So they're ambulance chasers, the law firm of Felix Lopez they're chasing Basso. and Jonah Smith, but also chasing Basso right now. And it's getting close. Felix Lopez was not as quick as these guys at the beginning of the moto, but his pace has stayed more or less the same. Smith has lost some time. Basso not quite as fast as he was earlier. And that flagger's head Lopez. is on a, a, a swivel because he about got smashed by Deegan earlier. Yes, You absolutely. see him, he will not turn his back. No. Uh, uh, like King Basso Cobra actually there. went down there in between motos check on him. Flip make sure he's okay. Said, hey, uh, you got any problems? Your neck looks uh, a little yeah. stiff. You want to yeah. talk about it? Wait, pass for the lead just like that. Basso went wide, took a look over his shoulder, saw Felix Lopez coming, and he could do nothing about it. So Lopez to the lead. Basso trying to get him back ah. side by side as they come through the finish line area. There it is. He's made the pass. Felix Lopez clears the triple from the inside and has the lead. Case closed. Felix Lopez out front on that Cowie. Do it for Lopez and Smith. But Tanner Basso, he's going to be back in the second spot. Now, can we figure out a way to get Tanner Basso fired up? Because he plays second in this moto. I'd like to see Tanner Basso get up there. So right now, it's, it's sitting good right now for the championship. Because Tanner Basso, he was out there in, in moto number one finishing with that second place. Or actually, excuse me, Felix went 1-1, one, one, so this is right, not good. We right. need to get Basso uh, front, in front of Lopez to try to make this a championship showdown. Because right now, going into third moto, he, all Lopez is going to have to do is finish behind Basso, the spot, correct. to collect the championship. You know, one thing I was thinking about, and we've been chatting about Tanner Basso, is uh, body bag Jay Wagner. The Teflon Body dog, bag. you understand why? Yep. He's had so many run-ins, and guess what? Squeaky clean record. You know why? Those guys yep. right there. Basso. Lopez and Smith. Basso's been doing the surgery on Body Bag. Yeah, getting, keeping no, it he's up had and running. multiple broken hands. From smashing riders in the face on the track. And then he's got a great law team behind him, and Lopez and Smith, Body Bag, Jay Wagner coming up in a little bit. Teflon Don, nothing sticks to that guy. Crazy. And he's been going against Phelps all over week. and over and over. Phelps. So we'll see. That's coming up quick, yeah. though. Yeah, we want to see that one. I was telling you earlier, when I'm announcing the plus 45 senior class, I'm announcing the plus 45 senior, cl senior class. The rest of the day, I'm just waiting. Waiting. It's just in the way, getting in the way of that plus 45 senior class, waiting on body bag Jay Wagner to go out there and zip another one over the top of another competitor, load him up in that corners van there, call the Camden County corner, and come get another victim from body bag Jay Wagner. The Mexico flag is flying high right now for Felix Lopez. We saw that thing the other day. She is getting torn down there. He's ripping that thing back and forth so fast. And Lopez doing it for Mexico out there. Let's see if Basso, he is 2.7 seconds down, man. He is falling off the pace. So Basso is going to need to dig deep in this one. How much longer we got left there, Kevin? Probably about five more minutes, I'd say. Yeah, you're so. exactly right. We're at lap seven. We're probably looking at the two-lap board if we're not looking at it yet. We are right now. The two-lap board is out. And I'm about to knock myself out hitting that TV with my head. Ever the pro, the consummate pro here. So it's Lopez, Basso, and Smith. One, two, three. Scott Meshi, Carter, Gordon round out your top five as we continue on to watch the college boy, 18 to 24. It's uh, the second phase of their... Final exam here, so a lot of weight on this one. 
the GPA up for grabs, college scholarships, eligibility up for state yep. too, man. Exactly. This These is guys right now, being in the college board class, they're not accepting money. They're just trying to get their education. That would be illegal. The NCAA would yep. be all over them down there. The sanctions, they'd have to give up all their previous titles there, hand over the trophies back to the NCAA. It's terrible. There's always a ringer going on inside of college sports. we got to watch out for that one. With that, We all know the story about Chad Saltz three years ago when he accepted money. Just totally made that up. I completely made that up, and I think it would have been great, a great no, story. I think he – okay, that's good. You're not going to blow him out over the mic. <laughs> I'm going to cover that up. Yeah, cover it up real quick. But Felix Lopez, two laps to go. Can he make it perfect scores going into moto number three? I think so. Destiny in his own hands. The number 71 along with the machine. Is it better be holding on to that machine? Felix Lopez, two and a half seconds, almost three seconds out front. Up and over the triple there. He'll pop the next one. Stays nice and low. Good form. Wheelies into the ginormous. I don't want to call them breaking bumps, but just whoops you guys have been digging out. You and your dirt bikes ruining this place. Come on, guys. So she slow down, we wouldn't have such a bumpy track. Here comes Lopez. The white flag should come out. It's going to be lap number eight. We'll see. Oh, couldn't see it. The surrender flag. So Felix Lopez. Nope, two lap board. Sorry, buddy. He'll have two laps to go in this one. So this is probably going to go a little bit over. 20 minutes, probably going to be ending around the 21 minute mark. Lopez going to have to hold it together for two more laps, which I don't see that being a problem. But hey, Basso, not giving up at this point. He dropped his lap time down to match Felix Lopez. So he's still only 2.8 seconds back with two laps to go. If I'm Basso's mechanic over there, I am letting him know he's got his nurse, his RN, in the mechanics right area, handing him. Scalpel, please. Yes, yes. He's handing him. Forceps. Not really scalpels, but hand them just like crafty race lines on the track, trying to pick that time up. Here's an inside line. Take that line. Take that line. There's uh, your leader, Lopez Basso, in the frame there just behind him. Lap riders now starting to clog up the racetrack. So Felix Lopez is going to have to work his way through lap traffic. And here comes Tanner Basso. You'll catch him right there. Blood in the water. Oh, no, it's a botched surgery. I hope there is no blood in the water because that'd be all Basso. <laughs> Lopez does not need that. All right, white flag will come out this time around. We'll get it right eventually. Just keep saying it. It will come out. The 71 around the Rocky Mountain ATV. We know the two-lap board is out around the Rocky Mountain ATV sweeper. The left leg goes out, pops up off the seat just a little bit. That flagger is oblivious to what's going on there. He about got hit by Deegan earlier. Whoa, cross running coming out of the little tabletop. Basso seemed to be losing time that last lap around. He is definitely going to be further than 2.8 seconds it's looking about like a five or six maybe even seven second gap at this point so felix lopez trying to close this case yeah he's about to slam down the gavel it is done i rest my case felix lopez on his way to a 1-1 moto score in Just this final yeah, Judge Jeff Canfield out there <laughs> presiding he is just gonna throw the gavel down it's over. Lopez Basso, please approach the bench, boys. Lopez passed the mechanics area one last time over that little decision maker. He grabs the inside line around that 500 gallons of Lucas oil that we'll send home with someone. You just got to load it up in that trailer, figure out a way to get it home. The dunk tank was pretty ter terrible earlier today because we were actually getting dunked. In oil. Into oil, yeah. It was it was rough. Not very eco-friendly. We just pulled the plug, let it run right into uh, the Team Greenville there. And just yep. But it's okay because Dr. Basso He'll clean the hooked mess me up. up. Yeah, no, he had me hooked up to IVs, get me all set up after being dunked in that oil down there at Lucas Oil. Raising money for the Brett Downey Foundation. And, and Wes Kane's done a great job Wes with Kane, it. Wes Kane, he just got $1,800 within the span of probably an hour. Yep, he called out Brian Deegan, got another guy to bring 600 Deegan got it. Daxton Bennett's old man threw down. That's 1800 bucks between the three of them. Thanks a lot to you guys. And thanks to you guys for doing that, Jimmy, and, and the Lucas Oil folks. It's a great cause we're doing. We're raising money for the Brett Downey Safety Foundation. They travel across America keeping all you guys safe. So it's like insurance. You don't, when you don't, you know, you don't need it. You don't want it. But when you want it, you, you hope it's there. And you want Brett down there. Exactly. It's one of those things. Even paying my health insurance every month, I'm just like shaking my head. But you need it. You do Absolutely. not want to be racing 
a motorcycle without it. A, gr a good group of flaggers that are trained and a track owner that knows all the tricks about setting your flaggers up, where to put them. And we're down to the wire here. The number 71 of Felix Lopez has but one more turn to go before he goes 1-1. A pair of pocket aces going to that final moto. He joins uh, Mike Brown looking perfect so far, huh? And a few other kids out there. Nice job. Felix Lopez will grab the checker flag and the win. And he will get to get some bad breath blown all in his face from Jason Wigan, who tries to save money and just uses a toothbrush without toothpaste. Spend the dollar, dude. Spend the dollar on the toothpaste. Some baking soda. You can make your own stuff. It's cheap. Lopez will take the win. Basso will finish second. Scott Meshi will be third. That is your podium. Good ride for Jonah Smith, Carter Gordon. They're going to round out your top five as we get set to send it down to the Race Tech podium. Jason Wygant has your winner. Well, I'll tell you what, he had to work for that one, had to make some passes. At one point, I thought maybe third is best he could do. Then it was second, then before long, it was the lead again and got the distinctive look here. We enjoyed talking about the podium. We'll stand right here the first time because he's done it again. Felix Lopez, your winner in college. You had to work for that one, had to catch the guys and pass them. Oh, yeah. It was a pretty good race. Uh, didn't get the whole shot at all, and I just had to be smart and keep pushing. Uh, that's what we do, just like like a practice day. Yeah, I see a bunch of guys here that are uh, super proud of you. So who are you putting in the work with? Oh, yeah, with all the Masterpool family. I'm so thankful uh, to be with them uh, and all of them. Uh, even my training partners, they're all here, and uh, I feel so good that they're supporting me here, and this is awesome. Oh, yeah, awesome. Felix, who else do you want to thank? I want to thank my uh, God first, uh, my mom and dad, uh, my friend uh, Victor, EVS, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Give this guy some more sponsors. He's earned it. Felix Lopez taking the win. Awesome. Tanner Basso ended up second in this one. We'll bring Tanner up on the number 72 Yamaha rider. Good job, Felix. Good luck in that third moto. We'll see if he can lock it down and get that title. Here comes Tanner. And here is your second place finisher, Tanner Basso. All yeah, right, You Tanner. need to tell him his new nickname there, Weege. You got it? The doctor. Oh, the doctor, Tanner Basso. All right, come on down to the center. Make you look good here on uh, Racer TV. Tanner, how about that moto, man? You had the lead a little bit. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, I felt really good. I got a great start, ended up with the whole shot, and was running up front for a little bit. I thought maybe I was going to have it, but then my arm started to tighten up, and Felix was riding really good, and he ended up catching me and making the pass stick. And But hopefully try to get him next time, maybe try to get the arm pump out and try to make it happen. All right. Who do you want to thank, man? Uh, my mom, my dad, my mechanic, Dalton, Benny over at Bell, Thor, Vicky at Spy, Mika, Team Verby, Hints and Clutches, Addiction Industries, Donnie over at Yamaha, Club MX, Mobius, CD Boots, Factory Connection, Maxima, Pro Filter, C4MX, Dunlop Tires, Matrix Concepts, Rhino Power, Nihilo, and DS Moto Customs for getting my bike dialed in. All right, Tanner Basso, good job here on the podium and good job at the moto. Let's hear it for him. 
And a late rally in this one to steal third place. I think he got into it just as the white flag was coming out. He's probably pretty spent, man. That's a lot of energy on a very rough track, and it's hot out this time of day. Scott Meshi takes third. <laughs> Scott, man, you dug deep. Yeah, man, I, uh, I saw the guy in front of me, and I said, man, I just can't give up. You know, I've, uh, I've worked too hard for this, and uh, I wasn't going to let anybody take it away from me. You know, that's what I wanted to get. That's why I want to finish. You know, that's why I want to get that top three. You know, first, first uh, time ever getting, you know, a third place. You know, so it's, uh, it's awesome. I wanted it so bad, and I just had to take it. Awesome. Congratulations. Who do you want to thank? Uh, definitely, you know, my whole family. You know, my mom, my, uh, my mechanic, Amish Sam. Uh, Keith, Adam, uh, Mr. Gary, uh, my buddy Zach, uh, my awesome girlfriend Lauren, you know, she's such a great uh, supporter. You know, my whole family, I just can't thank those guys enough. But uh, Cycle Springs Power Sports, uh, Race Tech, Boyson uh, Lynx Racing, uh, Ricky Renner, and uh, his family for, you know, getting me to the track and, you know, taking the chance on me and training me. Uh, Thumper Talk, Dunlop, uh, Fly, Tamer MX, uh, X Brand Goggles, EVS, Roost, uh, Cherubies, uh, Bulletproof Threads. You know, just everybody that's made this possible. You know, I can't thank those guys enough. This is what it's all about. All right, it is. Digging deep, getting that moto medal. Scott Meshi. <laughs> we have our whole shot winner. Yes, we do. Come on up. Uh, and our whole shot award from Bell Helmets goes to Brandon Glenn. <laughs> Got the gong there. Okay, how was the uh, start? Pretty good, I presume? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, you know, it's always uh, good to come out front here at the ranch, but uh, moto didn't turn out so good. It got tangled up with a guy and uh, mangled the bike, so just put her in salvage mode and finished the moto. Right on, man. Who do you want to thank? Uh, mom and dad, my girlfriend, my little brother, uh, answer, pro taper. That's about it. Brandon Glenn, whole shot award winner in college boy. Oh, they need more pictures. Brandon, 